Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm gonna try something. Something that I think I'm not very good at. So I love seeing on Instagram people's styling photos, reels, videos, all of that kind of stuff. Especially the ones where they take one item and then style it in multiple different ways. And I'm just like, oh my God, you've just created like 10 outfits out of this one thing, but just spruced it up in like a different way. I wish I could do that. And so that is what we are trying today. They say that the most sustainable clothing are the clothes that you already own. And then it's secondhand, and then it's like buying from sustainable, ethical brands. So we're gonna try the shopping your own wardrobe strategy. I have picked three items of clothing and I want to challenge myself to create three distinct looks with each item. So that would be nine looks in total. The items that I picked are clothes in my wardrobe that I absolutely love, but I usually only have one way of wearing them and I haven't really experimented or tried to diversify how I wear them so that I can actually create different looks with them because it's just all the same. So first of all, let's go through the items that I picked. The first item you may have seen me wearing on my Instagram, you may have seen me talking about these in previous videos, it's these Zara trousers. I got these in a charity shop and they're honestly my favourite thing to wear on my legs in autumn and winter. Probably more so than leggings. They're just like a bit comfier than leggings because the elastic band is wider instead of it being like tight. And they're just beautifully thick and cosy and they just sculpt my bum and my legs very nicely. The issue I have with these though is that I don't really wear like black and red in this way. So I don't really have many things that I can style it with. I literally often just go for like a black top or a gray jumper, which you might see come out in a few of these looks. So I might do one or two of the looks with this within my comfort zone, but I honestly cannot think of a third. And I'm like, other than a black top or a gray jumper, what the hell else <laughs> can I do with these? And I also want to create full outfits. So with layers and shoes and stuff as well. I literally have one way of wearing these, but I love them so much. So I want to be able to wear them in different ways. So I don't feel like I'm just repeating the same outfit every day. This top is another charity shop find. It's originally from Primark. I bought this for a fancy dress event last year when I went to Secret Cinema and it was a Stranger Things event. So I technically have one outfit. <laughs> that works with this top and that's it. There was a skirt that I bought from the same charity shop that I paired with it for the secret cinema event, but that's about it. You may have seen me wearing this top in multiple videos. However, I'm literally just wearing leggings underneath because I have no idea how to style this thing. The material is not really a material that I have much of in my wardrobe. And whilst I love the color, it's like quite fluorescent and it doesn't really match the tone of other items I have. We will see. I actually think this one is gonna be the biggest challenge. And then finally, it's a Hannah Witten staple. It's this sunflower dress. I got this many, many years ago. It was a birthday present from my sister and it is ASOS Petite. This dress is six years old, still fits, still works. Even though it's like a flowery dress, it's actually quite a thick dress. So I tend to bring this dress out in the autumn winter months and layer it with tights and things just because it's actually too heavy and too warm to wear in the summer. But yeah, the reason why I picked this one is because it's one of my favorite dresses. Honestly, sculpts the body real nice. And as you'll see, even though it's got buttons down the front, they are fake buttons. It is a stretchy dress. So it doesn't do the whole button popping thing on the boobs. But I wear this one way. I put tights on, I put boots on, and I put a coat on. So I wanna try and challenge myself to kind of like create different vibes. It might all still just be variations of like tights, boots, coat, but I'm gonna try and see if I can create like different vibes. Ah, uh, I don't know anything. How do people do this? They curate their wardrobes, that's what it is. It's like you 
every piece is intentional and so you know how everything goes together. I feel like my summer wardrobe became that. If you saw my I found my personal style in lockdown video, you will have seen that my summer wardrobe, bang it. Everything is like mix and match, but that was all completely unintentional. Don't know how that happened. My winter wardrobe is just a bit like, which leggings and jeans and jumper are we gonna throw on today? <laughs> so I'm gonna try and create some better like autumn winter looks. Let's do this. So this is my section of the wardrobe. It's pretty chaotic, very colorful. That stands. There's our wedding outfits. <laughs> this is my drawer full of tops and skirts and shorts. And this is the jumper drawer. So many jumpers. So we are starting with these bad boys. Look, I already did it. Already pulled together a look. Done. No, let's try and do more. The bed is a mess. We have one item left. This is what I currently look like. And then this is everything. It doesn't look very organized, but I think I can remember what all the different outfits are. So, bum, bum, bum. I think it's time for a fashion show. A fashion show. wasn't it? This was actually so much fun, although I am not going to enjoy having to put all of my clothes back. And even after I'd picked all of the outfits, I kept on having more ideas. Like I kept on seeing like different coats on my rail and being like, oh, I should have used that. And like, I could have like made this outfit with that. So there are more options. Like I can do this. I don't think the outfits I styled were revolutionary necessarily, especially with the sunflower dress. Really difficult with the sunflower dress to 
make the outfits super different because obviously it's a dress it's like the top and the bottom in one so there's less to swap out there's less to customize but each of the outfits did still have like a distinct feel in my opinion i would highly recommend giving this a go if you are sick of your wardrobe you know that whole feeling of like i've got nothing to wear although we've got nothing to wear clothes to right now but you can prance around your own home having your own little fashion show. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite outfit or go ahead and roast me for my bad fashion choices. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.